I'm actually one of, I think, the only original dancers around. I was uh, participating in, in the creation in 1978. I was 28 years old then. And first I danced it, and then I taught it to many types of people, including dancers, teenagers, old age people. And then I taught it again and again, and now I teach it for the first time to the dancers of the Paris Opera. Okay, okay, stop. It was better, but just let's, to be sure, let's do it one more time. I don't want to teach them <laughs> anything more than to just be themselves and not to be afraid to show how they are inside themselves. Uh, like the very beginning of the piece, it's each person coming down stage just to show how you are looking from the front, from the back, from the side. It's a terrifying moment to have to do this right at the beginning of the piece, but if you give them courage and they are there, they are coming. It's really nice to see how they present themselves, show me their hearts and what's inside them. There are topics in, in Contact Off which you will find in every piece. Loneliness, uh, the relationships, man, woman, that it's very clear, clearly choreographed in Contact Off, I think. It's a very heartwarming, touching piece. It's all about relationships and love and tender and in normal, normal things. Pina had an amazing instinct and from day to day, from week to week, you build up with the questions and answers and somewhere along the line she knows where it has to go. Especially with contact of the things are very clearly set up. There are circles, we are sitting in the beginning, there are lines, there are diagonals. There are a lot of repetitions also, but it's always, it's for a reason to state more a certain thing that she wants to uh, say. She has uh, an amazing ability uh, to have so many different kinds of scenes. There's always, if there's something extremely sad in a piece or something extremely brutal, the next scene would normally be probably something very touching and soft or something extremely funny. Pina loved all those funny uh, things that the dancers offered them. It's, she has a very special sort of humor, uh, like sort of Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton, very dry kind of humor. Without humor in the pieces, I, I don't think we would have come so far. But not all dancers can have this humor. She wanted to have personalities, persons, and people that are dancers who can move more in motion, but also emotionally. She was very demanding. We were learning from each other the whole time, but we always had to be courageous and have a lot of trust in her, in what we are doing. She gave you the feeling you were important for her vision and she gave this feeling to all of us that we were loved and I was lucky to have worked with Pina all these years because she was the one who shaped me, reshaped me, shaped me again. She, I suppose, helped me turn into the person I was supposed to turn into. <laughs> whatever that is. <laughs> I think all the pieces that I ever did with Pina meant, I suppose, very 
They have an importance to me because it's important work. What we are doing there, we, what we are giving, it's not just we are dancing a piece, we are giving, we are giving something very important to whoever wants to take it.